Hi guys and welcome back to episode number 4 of Tuna's Travels. We start on the profile of Owen Moody, who you may have recalled in the last episode. He's got his broken ankle, he concedes of retiring. As you can see here, he has retired. We tried to keep him in a job, but he wasn't having any of it. He's retired, become a director of football. Not a great one at that. We did try to bring him in because we don't have a director of football, but he's just not interested in discussions, so... Unfortunately not, uh, the people that we had applied for the job were not much better than him anyway. So I thought, well we might as well, you know, go for a similar level, someone that knows the uh, team. Since he was last here, I've played a few more games than probably expected. We were last here for that 4 roll draw against Port Stewart. We went into the Steel and Con Sons Cup, uh, where we beat Magrafelt 4-0, Connery 2 from Tom LT and 1 from Anderson there. We then played Crew United in the quarterfinals in a bit more of a tense game that time, a 3-2 victory. And then Mavadi came in the league, it was only a 2 all draw which was a pretty disappointing one for us. New buildings in the Intermediate Cup, second round 7-1 there, continues the run of us, some pretty big uh, like goal score lines. we're scoring a lot of goals. Lawn Olympic in the Seamless Suns Cup semi-final, we beat 3-0. I expect that one to be a struggle, because obviously their senior team, Lawn, are one of the only professional teams in Northern Ireland. Uh, so I expect it to struggle, but fairly comfortable there, 3-0. Followed by back-to-back 4-0 -back victories. One against Newington in the Northern Irish Cup fourth round. One against Bangor in the league. And, you know, confidence was riding high. Until we played Myola Park and yeah, we we lost 4-1 in this game. We were 4-0 down. Just absolutely nothing happening. If you look at expected goals, it was close. I mean, we had more shots, same amount of shots on target, but they were just way more clinical than us. And then this game happened. Holy moly, what a game. Can I... Yeah, let's go and, you know, let's, let's take you through this game. Because this was crazy. Uh, I couldn't believe myself when I was watching this. I sort of wish that this one had been recorded as an episode. I see Woods, lovely takedown there. Slams it home, so 1-0 to PSNI. But then seven minutes later, Whiteside on the wing. Good ball in. And Winton was just free to tap home at the back post. He wasn't tracked. One all, and then two minutes after that, Whiteside yet again on the ball, long ball over the top. Thompson, great take, lovely finish into the bottom corner, two one down. And you know, it wasn't over there. A, a minute later, shot spilled, and Radford was there to slam home from point blank range to make it two all. Two minutes after that, Winton on the ball, McAllister just gives it straight back to him, so they're clearing it. Thompson with a header from the penalty area. Free header makes it 3 2. And Breen, Riddle knocks it forward. Woods takes a touch. And what a finish that is from Woods. Sublime takes, sublime shot. Yeah, 3 all there. Then after half time. No idea what Connery was doing. Another great goal from Thompson. Puts them 4 3 up. Then McAllister over the top for Woods, a couple of touches. The keeper definitely should have done better there. Homer pulls at Simpson, drops it into the back of his own net for all. And you know, we made a couple of tactical changes. Ball over the top there for Tom Elty. Great little finish, that is lovely volley. On his weaker foot, fire home, that's 5 4. Then you know, another counter attack. Breen running through the centre, lovely through ball. Tom Elty once again scores. That is 6 4. 79th minute, Breen over the top, Woods gets in yet again, goes around the keeper, slots it into an empty net. That is 7 4. Before Radford sort of loses the ball, but then we get it back, and Wilson hits the bar with a great shot, and Woods is just there to tap home his fifth of the game. So, yeah, an 8 4 victory. We had a goal disallowed as well for offside. Five for Woods, two for Tomelty, one for Radford. Uh, what a game that was. So if we take a look at the league, we're currently sat in third, just a point behind Armagh and Distillery. 
both teams that um well are my beaters obviously distillery we almost blew a massive lead against so today we're going to play Banbridge in the league and then we have a steel and sons cup final against belfast belfast celtic it may not be the uh you know biggest cup in the world as you can see reputation wise 220th but it's a cup final it's our first season and you know it'd be nice to get some trophy some trophy some silverware <laughs> nice to get some trophy you know uh, but this is the team we're going for against Banbridge. We've got Muldoon in goal, Wright, Ferguson, Connery and Riddle at the back. McAllister, Wilson, Breen and Radford in the mid. And then Woods and Tormelty, two of my probably favourite players ever on Football Manager already. Uh, the two strikers up there. So let's see what they can do in this game. As you can see, we are sort of getting better. They're still not too keen on the stamina and, you know, the high press. But they'll get used to it. Or die trying. Either way. Um, Riddle is in the form of his life right now. And then the one above it. Why is Riddle starting? So, you know. Fans for you. Let's go and tell them to carry on where we left off. Ideally without the goals conceded. Although it would make a pretty entertaining game for you guys. So we are about to uh, kick off here in the league. At home. So, you know, we, we want to make our home ground a bit of a fortress. That's what we need to do. Goal kick comes forward. Breen wins the header. Woods back to Breen. Ferguson at the centre-back position. Out to right. McAllister, this is a decent move here. We've changed camera, as you may be able to tell as well. We're now on the TV camera. As McAllister skips past his man, and he's fouled, and that's a penalty. Andrew Ferguson's going to take this. Can he get another one for us? Steps up, and he's saved, and he's hit the post. That's why he couldn't, you know, get to the rebound. And he's hit the post yet again. And maybe we need to take him off of penalties now. Because that's certainly not ideal. It's the second time on camera he's now hit the post from a penalty. Maybe we'll give it to someone that is in form, like Woods or Tumulty. As Woods finds Breen, Breen is through, and he tries to pass it there instead of going himself. Goalkeeper clears it downfield on Ferguson this time over the top. Header clear yet again. And now they've got a chance to bring it forward, but Breen intercepts. Finds Tumulty into Woods. Back to Tumulty, lovely little play there. And Tony Tumulty gets his 21st goal of the season. What a player he is in this league. I mean, 21 goals. And this is our 20th game in total. He obviously hasn't played all of them either, so that just shows how good he is compared to this level. Even though his, his star rating doesn't show it, him and Woods have got that fantastic partnership up front, as you saw there with the assist for the goal. Riddle's throw comes to Radford. Green, he can make stuff happen. happen. So Melty, all the way back to Connery. We knocked one forward and it's headed clear and we've been caught upfield here but we've managed to get some numbers back making a little press here McCartan intercepted by Ferguson he plays it over the top and Woods has got space here to Tumulty into the box shoots what a finish that is that's 22 now Tony Tumulty once again assisted by Woods 2-0 up after 29 minutes and we seem to be cruising however don't forget we did almost blow a four goal lead earlier this season so Hey, we'll have to make sure to avoid that sort of situation again. A little layoff from Woods. You probably wonder why he didn't go by himself, but in the end, he made the correct decision there. And as things stands, we are top of the league. However, we have played that extra game. I don't think anyone else kicks off until later on. Uh, and despite all the goals, we only have a plus nine goal difference. Free kick now. Costello just wide that was dangerous and Bambridge haven't really shown much but if we keep giving him free kicks like that he probably won't be long before you know he is bagging a goal let's uh, tell them we're very pleased with that they look inspired they look motivated try and fire them up shall we and as we do that we get an injury Ronan Conn is gonna have to come on for Ferguson 
what is it, a potential groin injury. So we will see what happens there. A few players reacted negatively to that. Wilson finds Woods. The Connery goes back to the keeper, Muldoon. He's been in some pretty good form as well. Con knocks downfield. But they've won the ball back. And now they're going to look to attack us. Costello skips past his man pretty easily. Crooks has got space on the wing. Is he going to deliver a cross? He is. That should be the keepers. That is the keepers. What is Muldoon going to do? He's going to take his time. He's going to slow it down a little bit. Before going long. Giving away to Crooks. Who was the man who put the cross in. So maybe you know. Muldoon should have been a bit quicker. Mm. McCavitt. The Houston. And Lewis Houston pulls one back. And it's now T1. And we are going to go a bit more cautiously. Just because, you know, the momentum uh, might have swung a little bit. And it was um, a decent finish, wasn't it? First time from Houston, from the edge of the day. And they pull one back. Wilson is going to come off. But before that, we're going to knock the ball downfield. It's coming back towards us. Cavett hits the post. It was offside anyway in the end. So, you know, may have got away with, with one there. Wilson apparently isn't coming off. That was a little bit of a bug there. Let's take him off now for Anderson. And... Uh, I think we leave it like that. For now, let's, let's make that one change right now. Always difficult when you have to make an early sub for the injury, earlier than you like at least. Uh, not much happening now, so let's go and see if we can see this out a little bit. I want to take Connery off, but I don't really have anyone to come on for him. I'm going to take McAllister off for Henry. As you may have seen as well, I have reverted to the uh, goalkeeper on the bench. So it is just us playing at the moment. Um... I've been seeing a few people's gameplays and, you know, there's been a few goalkeeper injuries and I really don't want to risk that. As we run out, 2-1 victors in the end. Uh, we're going to tell them we may have won, but I was unhappy. Wilson and Ferguson both are motivated by that, but everyone else has a bit more motivation. We do go top of the table for now. Ferguson out for four to nine months with a hip injury. If we send him to a specialist... Just to 4 to 5, it's recurring injury as well. So, let's send it to a specialist. It is going to cost a fair bit of money, but unfortunately, there's not much we can do. We're going to pat him on the shoulder, tell him not to worry. Reacted to that a bit positively. And there we go, 20 games in to our career, 14 victories. Um, a Gagan Press style, apparently. I don't think we have been doing that. Maybe we have. Slam the team at half time, but if we just take a look here, 64 goals in 20 games for us is ridiculous, frankly. Uh, we're going to be back in a few seconds for the cup final against Belfast Celtic, so I'll see you right there. So we are back for the final of the Northern Irish Steel and Suns Cup. We are playing at our home ground as well, so we have a little bit of an advantage going into the final. Let's jump straight into the tactical meeting. He wants us to make four changes to the team. We're going to go and do them. He wants to defend now. I don't want to do that too much. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're going to go for. For the final. More Dune, Wright, Con Connery, Riddle. McAllister, Wilson, Breen, Radford, Woods and Tom Melty. Um, I am going to sacrifice the goalkeeper this time. We do have George on the bench who can play in centre-back. But, you know, we might also need him in centre mid. So I am going to sacrifice the goalkeeper for this one. And let's go and uh, see if we can get his hands on a trophy this early on. I know it's not the one that we're going for, but, you know, this is... Um, this would be a great start. And here we go with a broadcast interview before. Well, Ross, the big game is finally upon us. Can you win the Steel and Sons Cup? Of course we can. We're going to cope without Daniel Hannard. No idea who he is. The centre-back, so, you know, um, 
say it'll have a huge impact. And here we go, the lineups on screen as you can see the, the new broadcast style for the bigger games. The Belfast Celtic team playing with two holding midfielders, so that's interesting. Teams come out. We did the lineups. We have as little huddles before and we are underway for our first cup final of the series. Like I say, obviously it's not one that we need to win, but it'll be a nice uh, little boost and you know prove that we can actually win some trophies. Didn't manage to click that in time, but we've got a bit of a clash of kits here. We are in the darker green and black, they are in the green and white. Uh, it's a little bit annoying. But McAllister into the box, that's a good tackle, is it not? It's a penalty. Woods is going to step up and take this, obviously. Bergson injured, uh, injured, injured anyway, so he can't take it. But Woods steps up and scores, gives us the lead 20 minutes into the cup final. Kyle Woods bags his 15th goal of the season. And, you know, that could be pretty, pretty big for us. It probably was a little bit of a harsh penalty. The keeper goes right way, but it's a fantastic penalty, you know. Slotted into that bottom corner. Now, Con looks to find Wilson. It's a dangerous ball originally. But Riddle's going to get there. Melty to Breen. Finds to Melty back in. He's in acre space. Into the box. What's he going to do? He's going to hold it up. He's tackled. And yeah, I wondered if penalty's going to be given there, but it wasn't. Green looks out wide for McAllister, gets past his man into the box, shoots and he's hit the post. Radford though tries to pull him back across and it's a corner. This is a good spell of pressure for us. Hopefully we can make something of this, you know, give us that that barrier. Corner comes in, it's headed clear. Woods is going to pick it up. Into Wilson, back to Woods. Con looks into the centre to McAllister, still McAllister. Still McAllister saved by the keeper. Got a little bit sloppy there on the edge of the area. We are going to go uh, to a short passing play instead of extremely short. Uh, but we are winning. They are struggling a little bit. There's a few poor morale in their, their ranks. The cross comes in. It's headed clear. We haven't got anywhere near it. One of the strikers should have really been dropping deep. That ball over the top for Patterson. Scores, but... It was quite clearly offside. Go and encourage our, our lad, shall we? As we'll be able to see here, look at that, a fair distance offside, four or five yards. Decent finish, and the encouragement hasn't worked. I mean, frustrated and uninterested as we hit the post, and that one's disallowed for us. Breen has the ball in the back of the net, but he's offside. Referee's giving it. And, you know, he he was offside a couple of yards there. Shouldn't have needed him to, to put the ball in the back of the net. He should have scored the original. Free kick taken forward. Stewart, and it's gone over the top. Con brings it down to Breen. Who brings it through the centre, out to Riddle. Goes back through to Wilson on the opposite side. Into Woods inside the box. Woods! Just wide. That's a great chance, one that you'd probably expect him to take. But we go into half time, 1 0 up. We're going to cautiously tell them they've got one hand on the cup. Make sure we come out of this game having won the trophy. This is what we need. Radford is struggling apparently. We're going to replace him with Anderson as the corner comes in. Connor, we can't quite get there. Wilson's going to pick this up first though. Got players outside Woods though, he's onside and Woods slams the ball home. He took a while to get back onside. Woods held it, Wilson held it up, found the ball into Woods. As you'll be able to see on this replay, Woods just here, he, he hovers, he hovers, he stays onside, comes back in at the right time. Ball was fizzed into him, takes a touch and he smashes it home for his second of the game. And we are 2-0 up. We're going to see the offside one here. And it was pretty tight. But he was offside, uh, onside. And we lead by two goals to nil. They have an expected goals of 0 0.01. They've done absolutely nothing in this game. Apart from the disallowed goal. 
we are going to go and make some changes now let's go and rest some people shall we we're going to rest both the center backs we're going to replace them both because you know they are the only two senior ones that we really have now so with 20 minutes left to play we're in a pretty decent position here we're going to stay on positive Ball looks over the top and Woods is in for his hat-trick. Can Woods get his hat-trick? He can get his hat-trick. He gives us the cup. Surely we can't blow it from here. If we do not have just said that, I am in trouble. Kyle Woods bags his hat-trick. He's won the tournament for us. The Steel and, Subs cup, Steel and Sons Cup. I can't wait until I don't have to say that anymore. I've skipped the replay. I don't know why I've done that. I just want to see us lifting that trophy. That's what I want. Five minutes to go, plus stoppage time, time is ticking down. They've had one shot all game, Riddle's free kick goes in, it's headed clear, we've got four additional minutes of which three minutes are left. Patterson brings it forward, finds Shaw. Mulholland in aches of space, he's going to pull one back, he's not, Muldoon pushes it wide. They should have pulled one back there. Yeah, they've got a corner from Mulholland. Let's try and keep that clean sheet. Muldoon claims that easily. We are going to get very defensive now, just in case for this final minute. The throw in from Lowry to Stewart. Time is up. Ball in. Shaw brings it down. He's offside as well. That one's been disallowed. It would have been too little too late, but it keeps our uh, clean sheet intact. Again, fair, fair distance offside. And that is full time. And as you can see here now, the players going up to receive the trophy. And myself giving it a kiss, handing it over to our captain. Oh, yeah! The officials clapping us, no idea where their team is, but you know, officials clapping us. We've lifted the Steel and Suns Cup. We're going to parade it around the ground now in front of our own fans. Obviously, like I say, we're at our home stadium now. A little uh, cartwheel there. And that is, quite frankly, brilliant. Our first competition won in this series. Uh, we have enough broadcast interview here. Woods was tremendous. And we lift a Steel and Sons Cup. That is what we want to see. Brilliant. If you have enjoyed that, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe, ring the bell for more videos. Uh, as for when we're going to come back, I have no idea. We'll see what happens in the Cups. We'll be back sometime in January for you. But until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.